Welcome to a lesson on elementary matrices. The goals of this video are to define an elementary matrix and also to determine if a given matrix is an elementary matrix. An elementary matrix E is an n by n matrix, so it must be square, that can be obtained from the identity matrix by one elementary row operation. So if little e is an elementary row operation, we can express an elementary matrix as big E equals little e of i. All elementary matrices are invertible, meaning their inverse exists, and the inverse of an elementary matrix is also an elementary matrix. And for review, here are some identity matrices. Notice how the main diagonal from the upper left to the lower right are ones, and all their elements are zero. An elementary row operation consists of the following. We can interchange two rows, multiply a row by a non-zero constant, or add or subtract a multiple of one row to another row. Let's look at some examples. To determine if this given matrix is an elementary matrix, we want to determine if we can perform one row operation on the identity matrix to transform it into this matrix here. Notice how the only change is this element here is now three. So we want to figure out if we can perform one row operation on this matrix to transform it into this matrix. Well, if we were to replace row two with three times row one plus row two, notice how this would be three plus zero would be three, and this element here would just be three times zero plus one, so it'd still be one. And since we obtained this matrix here by performing just one row operation on this identity matrix, the answer is yes, this is an elementary matrix. Let's look at several more examples. Again, we're given this matrix, so we want to start with a three by three identity matrix and see if we can obtain the given matrix by performing one row operation. Notice the only change is this element here is negative three. So if we were to replace row two with negative three times row two, notice how we would obtain the given matrix, and therefore again, the answer is yes, this is an elementary matrix. Next, this is the given matrix. So we start with the three by three identity matrix and see if we can obtain the given matrix by performing one row operation on the identity matrix. Again, notice the only change is this element here is zero. So we might be thinking we can just replace row two with zero times row two. But multiplying a row by zero is not a elementary row operation and therefore the answer is no, this is not an elementary matrix. Now we're given this three by three matrix. Again, starting with the three by three identity matrix, we want to see if we can perform one row operation in this identity matrix to obtain the given matrix. Well, notice how this matrix here has been changed two ways. This one is now a four, and this one is now a negative one. So the only way to obtain the given matrix would be to replace row two with four times row two, and to replace row three with negative one times row three. Well, this would be two elementary row operations, and for this to be an elementary matrix, we can only perform one row operation. And therefore, again, the answer is no, this is not an elementary matrix. Let's look at two more examples. This is our given matrix, so we start with the three by three identity matrix, and see if we can perform one row operation to obtain the given matrix. Well, notice in the given matrix, or this matrix here, these two elements have changed, and so have these. But if we interchange row two and row three, we would obtain the given matrix. Therefore, the answer is yes, the given matrix is an elementary matrix. And for our last example, notice how we're given a two by three matrix. Well, an elementary matrix must be a square matrix, so right away we know the answer is no, this is not an elementary matrix. There's no way we can start with a two by two or three by three identity matrix, perform one row operation to obtain a two by three matrix. It's just not possible. Okay, I hope you found these examples helpful.